What's up YouTube? Chester here from Team AFTK. And I'm here to bring you a quick deck video. Um, it's Diva Zombies. I'm sure you've all seen different variants of it. Mine's not going to be much different. It's just a deck that I plan to take to regionals this coming weekend. Um, I'm quite confident in the deck's consistency. So just let me know what you think. Starting it off, um, two Goblin Zombie. One of the main cards in the deck. Two Mizuki. Um, search out with Goblin Zombie, send to the graveyard using Bring X effect. Uh, pretty much sets up the OTK. Um, two Pyramid Turtle. Um, two of the Zombie Floaters, which help get out Goblin Zombie, Mizuki, Zombie Master, stuff like that. Um, two Mystic Tomato. Um, another Floater, which I like because it can set up cards with Goblin Zombie, Gale, Sangin, stuff like that. Um, two Deep Sea Diva. I run Deep Sea Diva over Kreben Z Teleport just because I've found Kreben Z Teleport to be a lot slower. Deep Sea Diva brings out two tuners at once. Um, it sets up with Goblin Zombie, Synchro, do it again, etc, etc. Um, two Caius. Uh, just a really, really good card this format. It goes great in the mirror match because people are going to set their Pyramid Turtles, set their Goblin Zombies. Um, you're going to want to remove them from play so they don't get their search or anything. Um, one Zombie Master. I um, only run one just because two can sometimes just get in the way. Uh, I can, I'll can side a second one just for the mirror match because you can abuse your opponent's zombies as well. Um, one Plague Spreader, the main tuner in the deck. Well actually the main one of the main cards in the deck. Um, Synchro Goblin Zombie bring out Doom Kaiser. Take their Plague Spreader, Synchro, remove Mizuki, do it again, again. Um, yes. Uh, my favorite card, Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, just a really good card in the deck because it uses quite a few dark monsters and the graveyard's easily manipulated. So he's he's not hard to get out at all. Um, Spirit Reaper. He goes great with defense. Great defensive card. Um, side out against Glad Beasts. Um, <laughs> He combos great against Light Swarms when you have Light Imprisoning Mirror on the field because they summon their Celestia, their JD, they can't blow them up. So they'll have to waste resources they have like Brain Control, which is one of the only cards that they use that target that's not a monster. So, I mean, they can do that. Um, Blackwing Gale. A really, really good tune to cut their monster in half. You can climb over Stardust and other cards like that. Uh, Synchro gives you the option for Armor Master, which is a great Synchro. Um, Sangin, he's iffy in the deck, but he helps me search out cards like Gale, Goblin Zombie, Pyramid Turtle, Mystic Tomato, Deep Sea Diva, Plague Shredder, etc. Um, a good, decent floater. He's usually a lower food for myself. But. Um, Dragodia, one. Um, really good card to stop OTKs. You can send your Mizukis and stuff to the graveyard to take control of their level 4 monsters and stuff like that. He's just really good. He can copy any level in the graveyard as well. So he sets up options for different synchros. And the last card to help with the OTKs is Gores. Um, really, really good this format because Brianak is floating everywhere. So this card goes great in this deck. Now onto the spells. Two Allure of Darkness. This deck is draw card. Um, draw two, remove a dark. And it can benefit benefit you sometimes when you run burials and stuff like that, but you really just don't want to waste it on cards like that, but yeah. Uh, Sang and Spirit Reaper, great targets for this card. Um, I run two burials just because it can do stupid stuff. Like, this card makes this deck work so much faster, it's ridiculous. So I run two. Um, I don't advise running three. Um, one is great too. I just love, I just love running two. Um, two Book of Moon. Um, this is just a great staple, in my opinion. Uh, against Black Wings, Black Whirlwind, summon, flip them face down so they don't get their surge. Uh, it goes great in a lot of monsters, in a lot of matchups. It just stops them cold in their tracks. Brain Control. I'm sure we've all heard the rumors of this card getting banned, which isn't a horrible idea because the card is insanely broken. Uh, you have Colossal Fighter, I'm going to take it and be chewed down with it. Uh, yeah, so it's just ridiculous. Take their monster, sacrifice it for Caius, etc. Um, one Heavy Storm. 
We all know what that does. It's stable. Um, one MST. Stable. One book of life. Hour and one book of life. Just because two can seem like a little much. Um, remove their Necker Garden, uh, one of their lights orange, bring back one of yours, remove their Vayu, Sirocco, stuff like that. Lightning Vortex. Lightning Vortex is a great card in this format. Uh, the swarms with black wings with light swarms against mirror matches. Picture Mizuki, picture plate sweater, anything. One My Buddy. Um, when you're trying to set up for your OTK, it sucks when your opponent's like a uh, torrential, and then you're just like, no, My Buddy. Um, so yeah, and it's a rare now. Um, one enemy controller. Okay, I'm sure y'all have seen Adam Korn use this card. I actually picked this tech up from him, and it does great. Uh, I've I won multiple rounds this weekend just by using this card. Your their your opponents like summon Caius, remove your goblin zombie, chain enemy controller, to sacrifice goblin zombie to take control of their Caius. Search, and they have pretty much have to end their turn because they can't do anything else. Um, now onto the traps. Um, you will see my lineup of traps. Let me explain it to you. It's all the traps are virtually chainable except two. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Torrential tribute. One, not a chainable card to heavy storm or MST. Um, decks seem more consistent when your trap cards can be chained to their backfield blow up. Um, one bottomless. I have been catching hell on Pojo because I run one bottomless. Um, it seems like two can actually be dead sometimes. You get two in your hand, you're not going to set both of them. They're not chainable to MST or Heavy Storm. So, I mean, it's just good at one. I've, it's been working great for me. Um, and now to the chainable traps. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I only run one of these just because, I mean, two, again, can be dead. Uh, second one isn't bad at all. But it just sets your opponent back a turn pretty much. One trap does shoot. Um, card wins games. Enough said. As well as this one. This is probably my favorite trap card because it has won me multiple duels. Return from the different dimension. Pay half your life points. Special summon as many as you remove from play monsters as you can. Um, so yeah. Dust Tornado. I love this card. Set it. N uh, set that. Trap does shoot maybe. Opening hand. Blow up your opponent's back row. And then you can use a secondary effect. I love combining it with Call of the Haunted, which is my last trap card in the deck. I love chaining these two together because it's great. Dust Tornado blow up their card, set Call on their end phase, do all that crap on their end phase. Um, then your next turn comes, Call of Haunted like Goblin Zombie, Sacker for Caius. Um, since you sacrifice, Call's gonna stay, so you can bounce it back with Brain Act if you get to. Um, so yeah, now onto the extra deck. One Brain Act, I am going to add a second one. One Armor Master, staple due to the fact that I run Gil. One Revived King, I'm thinking about adding a second one for Mirror Matches, I'm not sure yet. Um, two Doom Kaisers, really great against Mirror Matches, just a great card in general. Two Colossal Fighter, um, when I get another Brianak, the second Colossal Fighter is coming out, so bear with me here. Um, one Stardust, I'm actually going to add a second one and I'll show you what I'm going to take out for it. Um, one Red Dragon Archfiend. One Thought Roller Archfiend. One Goyo Guardian. One Black Rose Dragon. One Ancient Fairy Dragon. This is the card I'm going to take out for Stardust. Um, one Mistworm. I love this card. Just great. Um, and one Ally of Justice Cataster. Haha, <laughs> Light Swarm. Anyway, uh, the side deck is a work in progress at the moment. I'm still getting it ready for regionals. Um, so, just let me know what you think about the video. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.